I've got a great tip for you today on cilantro. I'm going to give you the secret to growing great cilantro in any temperature. First, don't believe the people that say you can't grow it in the heat. Yes, it's a cold lover, but it can grow in the heat. I'm in 90 degrees in Southern California zone 9B, and this is growing in a seven, eight inch growing tub, only seven inches of soil, and it's brand spanking new. Let's see what date I put this in. 5-1, and we're just at 6-1. So this is just a month. And look how gorgeous it is. Just full, rich. And I've also been starting to eat it. I've been putting, I put it in my smoothies in the morning, and I just come and rip off you know, a big chunk of it and then put it in my smoothies. So you can grow it in the heat. I don't know why people are saying that you can't, but you can. And I definitely grew it. I'm in you know, California now, but when I was in Ohio, um, I grew it just like this. Um, in the cold and sometimes almost in the snow so that's the first secret that's not the secret but that's the first thing is don't listen to people who say you can't grow it you absolutely can um, another key before I tell you the secret is really good potting mix I haven't watered yet I'm just getting ready to water so it's a little dry I get happy frog from Fox Farm which is one of the best potting soils on the planet um, really really rich nothing artificial no synthetics in it and um, that does make a difference. But the secret <laughs> is lots of seeds. When I used to grow it, I would put in like a pitiful amount. And I thought it was going to, you know, one seed would turn into this big bushy plant. It doesn't work that way. I, look at all, the, look at all those roots right there. And I just go down and I put them in rows. I don't always put them in rows, but in this time I did. You can see how densely packed it is. You do get more than one plant, you know, one uh, sprig, so to speak, of cilantro from one seed, but it's not as much as you think. So if you're just going to, if you're just going in there putting seed, 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 you know, even, even that far apart, you're going to just get, you're going to get a nice crop, little seeds here, little seeds here, but I used a lot of seed. I mean, actually I'm, I'm exaggerating. I just put in my rows, these are all rows. I think I have five rows there. And I just dropped them, just pretty solid, just like that, all the way across, lots of seeds. And so you wouldn't even know that I did it in rows. I mean, look how dense that is. And this will get, you know, a foot and a half tall. And then another, you know, beautiful thing about cilantro is it will go to seed very easily. It'll turn into coriander seeds. And those seeds will either drop back in where you, if that's where you want it again next year, just let them drop. But if you want to save seeds for somewhere else, then you put, you know, we'll do other videos on the seedlings, but you'll let it, you know, shoot up into stalks, go to seed, and you collect the seeds in a little bag, and then you can put them around other places um, in your garden. And the last thing about cilantro for you is I found a, a variety called Slow Bolt cilantro. I'll have a link down below for you. And that one has been one, it, bolting means for those of you that are new, it, when it shoots up the long stalks and it's going to seed and then it goes to flower and then it goes to seed and then it doesn't taste as good. So you don't want it to bolt. So this is slow bolt cilantro. Anyway, that's my, those are my many insider secrets, but the big one is lots of seeds. So, uh, Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Really appreciate you being here. And I will see you on the next video. Sending you much love from my garden to yours.